Hey guys, welcome back to Objective Reviews. Do you enjoy high fidelity music or are you a closet audiophile or a proud audiophile? And are you stuck with listening to music via stuff like Apple Music or Google Play Music or Spotify and the like to get your music going? Well, my friend, uh, do I have news for you? Meet Vox. It's a music player like most other music players, but since you've already read the title, you know this video is going to be about high fidelity music. So what does Vox have to do with it? Let's talk about audiophile formats for a moment and let's dig into a three minute song which is encoded in the MP3 or M4A format. For streaming, most services offer up to 128 kilobits a second, while some may offer up to 256 or 384. Higher the data rate, more space that file is going to occupy on disk, and depending on your network condition, it'll take longer for it to download or stream. A sample 3 minute song will occupy 1.72 megabytes at 96 kilobits per second, 2.3 at 128, and 4.6 at 256. For local storage, however, you can safely store these at around 384 or slightly higher, which brings a file size down to 6.9 megabytes. Pretty cool. Now the MP3 format has largely been the driving success force behind successful products like portable MP3 players and most notably the original iPod. This is also the reason why your smartphones can store thousands and thousands of songs and not run out of space. But for those who are invested in high fidelity music monetarily or as an expensive hobby, this wasn't just gonna cut it. Raw audio files which production houses use can range from a few megabytes to gigabytes and film background scores can transcend all the way into terabytes. And since we naturally don't have access to those and even storing those for us to, uh, locally is going to be a massive data hog and our disk space will run out immediately, something had to be done. Enter FLAC, the free lossless audio codec. Now free in uh, the name does not suggest that it's free for us to use and consume, but it's free in the sense that when you encode music using this codec, there is little to no loss of data that is available to it from its raw format. And this is where Vox comes in. Vox enables you to store and play back music that is encoded using the FLAC format on your iPhones, your iPods, and your iPads. File management for Vox is available in two modes. Number one, you can download a song via Safari and load it up in Vox and start listening to it. Or if you have a bunch of songs that need to be transferred over because these can be very large files, you can use iTunes app file management process and just drag and drop them over. Once you copy or download your songs, Vox can automatically sort them into albums if it can find the relevant metadata online for those songs. Playlist files don't seem to work at the moment for custom playlists. This is one feature I hope they add in the future. Listening to the audio files on my computer or on my iPhone produces no discernible difference. This is very interesting because I was totally expecting the iOS device's performance wouldn't be as superior as the PC's. The only loss here for the true audiophile is the lack of an amp, however certain portable speakers do come with one built in. Vox also gives you access to play songs from SoundCloud and its own radio service and also store these songs uh, in its own cloud storage, but I'm not sure what kind of data rate it uses when streaming these back onto your device. So I didn't delve much into it and I'll leave that for you guys to explore. So. It's always nice to have these additional features. Vox has been a dream come true for me and I can just plug in my headphones into my iPhone and start listening to these. Well, my wallet hasn't been happy because I dropped some hundred dollars on new music in a day. On Android, things are a lot simpler. You can load up these songs from your PC or download them directly to your phone or tablet and simply use Google's Play Music app. Even I was surprised to find out that Google's Play Music app natively supports the FLAC format because I went searching around for a good app that can play these files and I came back right home. So now I'm definitely preferring to listen to these songs on my 3T and I can finally put that phone to some use, especially that it has a 3.5mm jack and I don't need to lug around a lightning to 3.5mm dongle anymore. The only time I cannot use this setup is when it's raining outside because the 3T is not weather sealed in any way. But if you are also coming from the Android camp and have one of these following devices, like the LG V10, 20 or 30, the ZTE Axon 7, or the LG G6 South Korean version, 
well you're in luck because these phones come with a built-in amp and DAC. Now I did not mention the HTC 10 in that list simply because although it has a built-in amp and DAC, its 3.5mm jack does not support outputting high fidelity audio. And all of these phones are capable of delivering some high fidelity audio experience paired with some greater headphones like the Audio-Technica M50X, 40X, 30X or similar from its competitors. But not all is merry in the world of smartphone high fidelity audio. Not all 3.5mm jacks are made the same and some may perform more inferior than others simply because of the voltage that is being supplied to the 3.5mm jack. Also do remember that listening to such music will heavily, heavily stress and drain your battery pretty quickly. So say you're getting some six hours on screen time uh, when you're listening to such audio files, you may get around three and a half, three hours. So that is one thing to keep in mind. So probably carry a power bank with you. The FLAC format also can sometimes be misleading. MP3 by itself is not a very pure source and if you're transcoding your MP3 sources to FLAC you're not automatically going to get better audio. FLAC only works great when its source is raw, pure and is void of any artifacts. MP3 does come with a lot of these and you can take a high quality MP3 file and transcode it to FLAC and you're basically not going to be seeing any difference. So the source of these FLAC files, uh, the size, the data rate, all of these things matter a lot. So don't go around converting all your MP3 files into FLAC. So by now you may have guessed that this video is not a one-stop guide uh, for getting high fidelity audio onto your smartphone. You'll have to do a lot of trial and error on your end to figure out if this setup works. And to get you going, I'll leave a link down below where you can get a lot of legal free music that is included in the FLAC format so you can test and make sure that you can play these files before you just go on spending money and buying a lot of music in the FLAC format. I'll also leave my affiliate links down in the description for all the hardware that I mentioned in this video and the Vox app itself. So do go and check them out. Well, if you've liked this video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, let me know down in the comments why you dislike the video so I can probably improve them in the future. And if you're new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get a notification when I upload new videos like this one. I'll see you guys in that one. Cheers.